that GPS, you get all that latitude, longitude. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Yes, ambulance, please. Yep, Kitts, Kitts Beach, Vancouver, British Columbia. We have a potential swimmer that's needing help. He's probably about, I would say, about 50, 60 feet offshore. Yes. I mean, the system in general, I mean, it totally makes sense. Uh, again, as a, a parent, I would totally, I, I don't know necessarily if I would buy it. Uh, I would rent it. Like if we were, let's say we were on a houseboat on the Lake Okanagan, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. if we were here at the beach and we were going to be here for several hours, I wouldn't hesitate to put those suckers on my kid's arm. And that was pretty precise. I mean, that was that was awesome. Uh, well, it was great today to see it in, in action and in an actual simulation because I wondered a little bit how it was actually going to work, but mm -hmm. it, it worked well here and uh, and gave a great uh, pinpoint location with uh, latitude and longitude. And uh, yeah, I think it could be quite helpful if it were uh, developed to the point where emergency services would adopt it. Yeah, sure. Well, the, the good thing about it is that you don't have to, you don't have to uh, buy anything in general. All you have to do to have is have the inter internet it, access, yeah. that's it. So unsupervised areas, that would be a whole other uh, aspect to it and uh, mm -hmm. it, would be, uh, it would be useful. Freezing. Dale Miller, Life Saving Society, Executive Director for BC and Yukon Brick. Mm -hmm. And you talk maybe about the organization, and goals, uh, activities. Sure. We're committed to drowning prevention and the prevention of aquatic related injury. Uh, part of the Royal Life Saving Society, uh, active in Commonwealth countries, mm -hmm. and, uh, and also part of the International Life Saving Federation as well. So it's it's a big organization, been around for a long time, and uh, there is still work to be done to prevent uh, drownings out there. Well, I think we saw a good example the other day at Kitts Beach where you've got a large body of water. Uh, there are lifeguards on the beach, but uh, a lot of people will, will swim a lot further out than what the lifeguard can see, and, and it's a wide area too, so to expect them to see everything that's going on is, is unreasonable. So they, they have swimmers that that will do laps of the inlet there, you know, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, uh, they may be way out and, and get caught in a, in a tide or uh, you know, cramp or get in trouble, and that's where this kind of a system can help as well. Uh, but again, in, in those locations where there are no lifeguards or, or other method of supervision, then uh, a system like this could uh, come in quite helpful. Yeah, last Saturday we had the, um, what we call the Honor and Rescue Award Ceremony. The rescue part is recognizing members of the public uh, who may or may not be trained in life-saving skills who have um, gone out and, and saved a life. You know, once it's, a, it's certainly a viable product, then we would do what we could to uh, make it available and, and, uh, and help in the marketing of it because it, if it um, does what we hope it will do, uh, it certainly helps in our mandate of uh, preventing drugs great project and uh, hopefully it uh, gets to its final stage and we can start to promote it. I'd love to do that.